Man, this thing is sick, man. Definitely worth it. All right, fellas. So today, we got the Fit Cam Mix Smart Car Key. This thing is pretty sweet, man. So let's open the box up and see what it is. Box. You'll get a user manual, a charge cable, an OBD2 port. I'll go over this later. And then of course, the actual Fit Cam X 900X, baby. So let's get right into it. The good thing about this kit is um, it actually comes with a soldering iron and pretty much an install kit. Not a lot of people do that, man. That's, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty sick. So for the price, you get everything you need. Now, if you haven't figured it out by now, the Fit Cam X is basically a replacement key fob for pretty much any existing um, key fob out there in the market. Now, you guys know I got the Honda Prelude, which normally doesn't come with the key fob, but I do have the Viper um, alarm system in mind, and this is my key fob. So I actually do sell the full kit. It, it doesn't come with this kit, but there's a, an additional kit where um, basically if you want the alarm and the whole nine, they do sell a kit for this specific key fob. So if you need one, I actually already have a system, so I'm just gonna use my existing fob. So one of the first things you have to actually do is uh, take apart your current key fob, which I'm kind of already half a step ahead. I've already taken off the back. <clears throat> Every key fob is different as far as taking it apart. Um, so that's the first step. Get your fob taken apart. Now we got our fob taken apart. And essentially we're gonna be going and we're gonna take our fob and the Fitcam X 900X. They actually have a few different models, but they all come with essentially the same thing. So this is gonna be the actual pigtail that plugs in uh, to the Fitcam X. So this goes in there and these all get wired to their respective places in this chip or soldered rather so so in the instructions it tells you you know once you pull out your fob uh, what color goes to what and um, without getting too technical each button is kind of soldered in at four points and it tells you basically to cross uh, solder your your wires I couldn't tell you exactly what why, but when you crack open your um, your fob, you know the one side is gonna have uh, you know basically where your buttons were. So you know, like for for instance, this one, you know, you actually physically have to push this button in to make these work. So it's kind of easy to tell which one's which. So this top one for me is the lock. The next one down is the unlock. This third one is the auxiliary. And then the last one is the panic button. So I know which one is which based on this. So you can see I um, cross soldered. There's four points holding that button in. And I cross soldered them. Um, on my specific um, remote for the Viper remote, Mine had these little white dots on the right hand side. So I, I did one wire to that and then the opposite. Um, so basically, like I said, the whole wiring diagram comes with the, uh, with the instructions. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little confused on the negative and positive, but 
I think a quick cheat code to that is for mine is basically wherever the battery is. So because the the Fit Cam X has its own battery in this remote, you don't actually need the battery that comes in this. So um, you can see that the gold ring here is positive. So and I don't know if you can see this. I know these this chip is kind of small, but I basically wired the positive to where this gold ring was saying it was positive. And then where there's a positive, it's got to be a negative. So this gold ring on the bottom of the chip, I figured that was the negative. So I wired it accordingly. And um, we're all set. Now, my car doesn't have a uh, trunk button. So um, that one's kind of just stained as is. Um, the kit does come with this little strip. I'm assuming this is like a, a protection strip. So I'm actually gonna put this strip over uh, the buttons where I soldered for extra layer of protection. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the back of this um, on the remote. All right, so now that we got everything put together, let's, uh, let's turn it on. You got your power button, your auxiliary button, unlock, lock, and your trunk button. So, What's that? Oh Lord, the boy got the car on the remote. How he do that? <laughs> uh -oh. uh, we got all the little options in the screen, keyless entry, auto lock windows. You can set the car logo, obviously, which I've already done. You can set the car picture, which I've already done. Uh, remote engine time settings and moment of truth man let's go see if this thing works I got the car in the garage at the moment let's just do a little test so let's turn this on let's see Unlock. oh lord that is dope. That's dope. <laughs> uh, with the touch screen. And let's try to unlock it. Or I unlock it, let's try to lock it. That is crazy, bro. That's wild. Now I don't have a trunk button, obviously. So that's not gonna work. Um, the hard buttons on the side. Uh, That work. Oh, yeah, that works too. Hard button work. And then what's this? Oh, uh, uh, my panic button. That's dope. That's crazy. Well, that's my review of the Fit Cam X900. Man, this thing is sick, man. Definitely worth, but is it cool to have? 100%. So, unlock your car in style. You know what I mean? Get you one of these. Like I said, again, I'll have the link to uh, in the description if you guys want to get one. Yeah, definitely worth it. I give it a 10 out of 10. It looks cool. It's sleek. 
it was an easy install it works and it's cool as hell so 10 out of 10.